Yo, Bad News Brown. Now I'm gonna do a Panther video. It's been a while since I did a video on the Panthers. Now I referenced the Panthers many times, plenty of times on other videos, but it's been a while since I did a video specifically about the Panthers. So here we go, y'all. And this, this is, won't necessarily be a, a Black Panther story, but I guess I will, I shall rather clarify the Black Panther Party in certain ways. So here we go. Now, before I continue, I got to put this disclaimer out. The Black Panther Party was not, is not, was not, and is not a racist organization, meaning it wasn't the opposite of the Ku Klux Klans or the skinheads or any other racist group. So you can't compare the Black Panthers to the Ku Klux Klan, regardless to what the media tells you. The Panthers stood for things much more bigger than that. The Black Panthers took on things much more bigger than that. So the Panthers was a lot bigger. So you can't call again the Ku Klux Klan or the skinheads the ops of the Black Panthers because they wasn't. The party was a lot more bigger and powerful. Now, some would argue being that those in those racist organizations are associated through relation through a lot of the, the upper elite who the Panthers challenge, but nevertheless, they wasn't more powerful. And another thing I want to just before I continue when you talk about the Panthers. And I'm pretty sure most people, black people, are now coming to the realization that within the modern day, the Black Panther Party is the closest we came. It was the fiercest group. I don't care what nobody say. And even fast forward to this day when you hear certain certain people talk out whether it be uh, another social media commentator or anybody when they complain about the young boys the game bangers killing each other or anybody and, and they say and rightfully so they say man y'all y'all shoot each other you extort each other but y'all don't do nothing about them police and them crooked cops and etc etc and that's where the black panther party stood alone didn't nobody, they put their money where their mouth was. No pun intended when I'm talking about money. And people in the know know what I mean when I say that. But for real though, all jokes aside, they really put their money where their mouth was. It was the fiercest group we had to this day. You understand? All the brothers and sisters that had sacrificed their life. And really, like I said, put their money where their mouth was. The party just didn't talk about liberation and justice for the African and oppressed people. They fought for it. And again, ain't no other group to this day did that. And this is why you don't hear too much about the Black Panther Party. And a lot of the information is quelled, as I should put it. And this is the reason why a lot of, not all, but a lot of your prominent black people in our communities won't dare mention that party name because they know that's hardball. You understand? See, it's one thing, and I mentioned this before in another video, it's one thing when you, okay, you may point the finger, you may, you know, you may talk to talk, but the party, like I said, that's hardball. That's when you, you graduated, you really fighting for the rights which essentially mean you really I hate to put it like that because this ain't the intent of the party to take it to the government by that definition but as we learn when black people fight for freedom and stand up and want to do for self they ultimately make war with the government because the government don't want black people doing for self 
and I'm just gonna keep it like that because this video is not I don't I'm not wanna I don't want to get too much into the PE regarding the party in, in this video and when I mean by PE y'all I'm talking about political education I really want to just speak more or less about the uh, sensationalism unfortunately but you know a lot of the young boys a lot of people that's what they want to hear they want to hear you know how, how the party put it down how how was they able to you know push a line in Oakland etc etc not just in Oakland all over and abroad and I get into that not in fully detail with this video but I get into that before I continue y'all check out the documentary 21st and Central regarding the a situation that happened down in LA with the Black Panther Party in LAPD. Y'all check that out, the documentary 21st and Century. And one other thing, since I mentioned that, LA was considered the red zone. Oakland, we was more like Washington, D.C., being that the party started in Oakland. So, I wouldn't say the experience was different, but because it wasn't to the extent that I'm mentioning, but there were different instances again. LA was the red zone, so the party was, it was a lot of gun battles down in LA with us in the LAPD. And in hindsight, well, I, I'll say that for a later date, but. Yeah, man, L.A. was the red zone, so it was a lot of shootouts with the LAPD in L.A. and across America and in Oakland as well. But again, like I said, Oakland was the White House. Oakland was ground zero, so the, about time we made it to L.A., Oakland kind of damn near, well, not kind of, was already sold up. And not just through the criminal element. The whole city was sold up. And again, y'all, before I continue, I'm actually right across the street looking right here at Bobby Hutton Park, the uh, the the famous park that you see in a lot of the Black Panther Party pictures, certain speeches, certain events. I can go on and on, but a lot of pictures, if you see pictures of the Black Panther Party in a park area and as you'll see hundreds because it's so many things took place at this park and this is the park there's one thing about growing up and living in Oakland a lot of the all if not not all but a lot of the Panther my bad Charles I was saying man but yeah right here in Oakland we got the benefit of not only seeing but being right here where certain events and phenomena took place again like i was saying and again this is the hardest we ever came like again they're still scared of the black panther party to this day oh yeah you know for real hardball that's all i'm gonna say so and they know this when a black man want to wake up this is the direction he need to go you know not go to church you know, not, and I'm not going to say, you, of course, you don't eat better, but when you want to clean up your life, and I'm talking about the black man, I ain't talking about on no individual basis. So if you need to drop a few pounds or you need to get a job or do all that, yeah, that's an individual thing. I'm talking about as a whole. When we want to get our shit together, become a black panther. 